Okay, now we are going to solve practice problem 7.11 from Sadiku book. And this is the question. The switch in this figure is closed at t is equal to 0. So first we will have open circuit and then closed. So we will have two cases at t less than 0 and for t greater than 0. There are two cases. And then we have a note that u minus t is equal to 1 for t is less than 0 and 0 for t greater than 0. Okay, now let's have two cases. So when t is less than 0. Okay, so now what is the condition when t is less than 0? So the switch is still in the open circuit. Okay, switch is still on the open circuit. And then this one u minus t is equal to 1 because t is less than 0. So the voltage source here will be 20 volt. So I will have voltage source is 20 volt. Okay, and then because it has been open for a long time, it will be in DC condition. DC condition. And that means that capacitor will be in open circuit. Okay, so now we have these three conditions and let's redraw the circuit according to this condition. Okay, now I have drawn the circuit here and this capacitor will be open circuit. So we just draw an open circuit here and the switch is still in the open condition. So I do not, I did not draw the right part of the circuit because that will be useless. And so we only have a voltage source and a resistor here. And so because this is an open circuit without loops that going back to the supply. The current here will be zero. So the current here will be zero. And the voltage, because there are no currents that goes here, the voltage here will be the same as the voltage here, which is 20 volt. And we can we can state this as a function. So when t is less than 0, we have it. it is equal to 0. And then vt is equal to 20. But this but also means that if we plug 0 from the left, so I will have i. 0 from the left that will equal to 0 and then v of 0 to the left is equal to 20. Okay, let's have these conditions and we will check at the second case where t is greater than 0. Okay, now the, for the second condition we need to check when t is greater than 0. So when t is greater than 0, let's see the circuit's conditions when t is greater than 0. Okay, we have 20 u minus t here, and u minus t when t is greater than 0 is 0. So we have 0 for voltage source. Okay, so we will have 0 for voltage source. And 0 for voltage source is the same as short circuit. Okay, and the switch is now short circuit. And there are only the two conditions. Okay, let's redraw the circuit according to these two conditions. Okay, now we have drawn the circuit. Okay, this voltage source is zero, so I replace it with short circuit. And the switch is now in the closed conditions. And let's label the I and V. So V is here. 
and this is I, the current that pass through this resistor. Okay, now I want to pick this as our ground, and picking this as our ground meaning that the voltage in this node will be zero, and because this is zero, and this is V volt, so the voltage in this node will also V. Okay, and I will assume the direction of the current here. This is going down, this is going down, and this is going up according to this current source. Okay, and so we can do KCL at node V. KCL at node V. And KCL state that the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. Okay, the current that goes in, there are two currents that goes in, which is this one and this one. On the left, we have this one, and that will equal to this node here, which is zero. So I will have zero minus V divided by five. And then this current here, which is 3, because it is current source. I will have 3 here. Okay, let's do that. And then that will equal to the currents that goes out. The current that goes out is this one and this one. The current that pass through capacitor is defined by this formula, C, dV, dt, right? Okay, so the current that pass through here is the capacitor value, which is 0 0.2. And we multiply it by dV over dt. And then the last current that goes out, which is this one, it is V minus 0 divided by 10. V minus 0 divided by 10. Okay, let's do some algebra here. So I will move this one to the right hand side. So I will have this one will be 3 here. And this one will be 0 0.2 dV dt. Plus this one will be V over 10. And this one will be plus V over 5. So now I can multiply both sides by 10. And so I will have 30 is equal to T dV dt plus V plus 2V. Okay, V plus 2V is 3V. So I will just rewrite that as 3V. And we can divide both sides by 2. So I will have 15 is equal to dV dt plus 1.5 V. Okay, so we have this first order differential equations and also initial condition. We need to solve this. Okay. Okay, I should point out that I made a mistake in copying. So this V0 should be 20 volt. Okay. And so we need to solve this differential equations. How to do that? We can apply uh, multiplying both sides by e to the 1.5t. So let's see what can we get that. 15 e to the 1.5t is equal to e 1.5t dv dt plus 1.5 e to the 1.5t multiplied by v. Okay. And if we check this, if we name this as u, we can see that this is u prime, right? And if we name this v, we can see that this one is v prime. And remember that u plus v prime is equal to u v prime plus u prime v. Right, so I can rewrite this into its parenthesis form. So I will have 15 e to the 1.5 t is equal to d of dt from 
e to the 1.5t multiplied by v. Okay, now we can integrate both sides. So I will have integral of 15 e to the 1.5t dt. And this t over dt is gone because we integrated with respect to t. So I will have e 1.5t multiplied by v. Okay. Now let's do the integral calculation. So I will have 15 divided by 1.5 e to the 1.5 t plus some integration constant. And that will equal to e 1.5 t multiplied by v. Okay, now we can divide both sides by e to the 1.5 t. So I will have 15 divided by 1.5, that will be 10. And then will be C1 divided by E to the 1.5 T. And then the right hand side will be V. Okay, I can rewrite this V to the left hand side. So I will have V. That will equal to 10 plus c1 and i want to rewrite this e as negative exponent so e to the minus 1.5 t so this is a function of time so i will have vt is this function so now once we found this we still need to find this integration constant okay let's do that okay now we have this one here and we need to find out this c1 and remember that we have already v0 okay v0 but this is limit from the left but because the physical properties of capacitor that voltage cannot change instantaneously we can just rewrite it as v0 v0 and v0 is equal to 24 okay that means that when we plug this t is equal to 0 we will have 20 so let's plug 0 into this function i will have 10 plus c1 multiplied by e to the minus 1.5 multiplied by 0 is equal to 20 okay and e to the 0 will be equal to 1 so i will have 10 plus c1 is equal to 20 and so c1 is 10 so our final function will be vt is equal to 10 plus 10 e to the minus 1.5 t or we can just rewrite it as 10 multiplied by the quantity of 1 plus e to the minus 1.5 t volt okay and this is for vt and now we need to find the it okay it how to find the it let's take a look at this circuit again i is this voltage here minus this voltage here divided by 5 so i will have the voltage here because t is greater than 0 i will have 0 minus the voltage here which is the same as vt so i will have vt and we need to divide it by 5 so i will have this one 0 minus this one will be minus 10 multiplied by 1 plus e to the minus 1.5 t and we need to divide this by 5 so this is it so it is minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus e to the 1.5 t okay so we will have this function here when t is equal to 0 and this function the vt here and this it here 
when t is greater than 0. So hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you find this helpful. Thank you. Bye bye.